I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my recording report for you, Aquarius for the week of July 17th. Okay, so this is a big week. There's a lot going on, and especially for you, Aquarius, because there's a lot happening in your area of productivity, social, uh, communication, uh, love, <laughs> let's not forget love, and uh, and of course work and your you know productivity for sure. So let's go through it. I mean we do have three squares and squares sort of will be pushing you out of your comfort zone a little bit this week, changing things, switching things up, allowing you to like reset the start button. It's like pushing the restart button on the computer. And at the same time, there's two triangles which are like fateful, more beneficial, softer aspects, which fill things in. So it's like the squares help to get you back on track and clean things out, and the trains are sort of filling your life back in and those spaces back in with something much, much better, okay? So right at the start of the week with the Sun and Mars in your solar six houses, it's all about work, all about um, productivity, it's also very much about your health and well-being and more so about you making time for you. Okay, so with Mars in this area, it really does challenge you to... <laughs> to look after yourself because Mars will motivate you to take on more than what is humanly possible to do. All right, so it challenges you to just take a step back and say, okay, who's missing out here? And it's you, you're the one who misses out. And let's face it, there's nothing more important in your life than your health, really, because, you know, that old cliche saying, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Guess what? It's true. Okay, now right at the start of the week, the sun and the moon, the sun and um, Mars in this area do square with Uranus. So things can come out of the blue. You want to keep your schedule a little bit flexible. You may not have as much control over it as you would like. Okay, and certainly around communication. So um, you can be uh, you, discussions can start up. Be careful that you're not too reactive, all right? That's sort of one of the main messages here. And through the week and towards the end of the week, the Sun and Mars will move into the next sign, which is your love zone. And it will join um, Mercury, the communication planet. And also at the end of this week in this area, the moon will move in as well. And then we have the new moon, all right? Now, next month, we have a new moon right now at the end of this week at zero degrees, so it's pretty intense. Next month, same area, but later degree at the towards, you know, 28, 29, I can't remember exactly now about it. That will be the solar eclipse, okay? So what starts to happen this month around relationships can really then just take off with a boost of energy this time next month okay so keep that in in mind now so let's just recap on that so now we've got mars uh, mercury the sun the moon the new moon all in your area of relationships and there is uh, a couple of other things going on so we've got the uh, venus the planet of love and money in an area where if you're looking for love, well, guess what? You can find it this week. Uh, but, of course, you have to be ready for it. Just because the stars sort of bring everything in line, you have to still be ready for it. You still, it's still your choice whether you accept love into your life or not, okay? Uh, I can just give you the vibration of how what's going on in, in the chart. So but Venus is going to be training Jupiter, and I love these two together. Jupiter is a planet of abundance and expansion. These two together are my personal favorite combination of planets. And Jupiter sits in your area of spirituality, so it's going to help you get in touch more with yourself, your own faith. Uh, on a love uh, level, it can help you attract 
someone you feel is is a soul partner there's some um someone you feel comfortable with you've probably spent time with them in another lifetime so you've got that deja vu thing going on okay so that's very nice and the other trying this week is between mercury which is in your relationship zone and saturn saturn is in your social area so this is a great time to get out and network both for social and for work because the people that you meet during this time on both levels there can help you get things in place not just for now but for the future because and solid foundations because anything that happens under the saturn vibration is um it's it's solid and it, it's like uh, sets in longevity and sets in good found good foundations for the future so that's sort of pretty exciting so don't worry too much if you think things are getting a little bit messy during the week because it's that messiness which really helps you change and progress and grow now the card i've selected for you this week is from the james van prague pack the soul's journey just for a change and before I share that with you, um, I want to let you know my readings are still on sale, 20% off. I've redone my whole readings page this week. It was getting a little bit complicated and confusing. So now you can go through and select what type of reading you want, how long you want it for, and I'll custom design the session for you. Um, so I still do have the psychic astrology sessions on there as well because um, you know they're quite popular they're great as a follow-up once you've had your chart done they are a little less expensive because we don't have the prep work in it so that's the explanation for that one okay now while you're on the site jenniferangel.com please subscribe to my newsletter and please subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't already and the card that i've selected for you this week is purpose okay so with jupiter there in your area of purpose then this and connecting with venus and then this is a great card for you and the little affirmation is i know what i am here to do okay all right so um have a great week thanks for watching and i'll see you next week